there, Dr. Rosie, the perfume lady. If you are new here, welcome for my lovely returning subscribers. Thank you so much for coming back. So, let's talk about three unique fragrances that I think if you are going to hit the clubs, going dancing, or if you go into a concert where there will be a lot of people, the place will be a little hot and steamy. Or if you go in somewhere else where, you know, very exposed to a lot of people, people singing and dancing. So you want to wear something a little bit strong, a little bit, uh, you know, bossy, right? Uh, these three fragrances should be the fragrances you should reach out for. They are unique in their own ways, but they are all beautiful fragrances, which will make you stand out, which will last a very long time on your skin. You don't have to worry about pulling a, a little sample in your purse to reapply, because these fragrances were made for those type of scenes. I will be back. Right, I'm back. So, quote of the day. Perfume puts the finishing touch to elegance. A detail that subtly underscores the look. An invisible extra that completes a man and a woman's personality. Without it, there is something missing. The late Gianni Versace. He knew what he was talking about. Perfumes completes the outfit. All right, this is uh, the first fragrance. This is a unique and hard to find fragrance. And I think it was a limited edition. I purchased mine from Dubai. Uh, this is Johara Oriental by Armani Privé. This has some incense, uh, spices. It has myrrh and iris. You have some ambroxan. The base note, you have some bourbon, vanilla, amber wood, some guaiac wood, and cedar. Each time I have a deep amber woody fragrance in my collection, and believe it or not, I have a lot of uh, ambery and woody fragrances in my collection because I do love wearing a kind of like a tough, a bossy fragrance, a strong fragrance uh, sometimes. Not all the times, but sometimes, you know, when my personality calls for this type of fragrances, I want to reach out for one of them. And each time I have one and I think, oh, wow, you know, I found the best ember uh, fragrance, the best woody fragrance for me. And then I pull this one and try this one and test this one against them and compare them. This one always wins. This is by far the best amber woody fragrance that i have in my collection and you know i'm telling you uh winter cannot get here fast enough for me to wear this again uh, i kind of missed the mark on it winter 2023 but i will get you know to the beginning of uh, next winter to wear this baby this is sexy it's hot it makes you feel steamy when you wear this and i am not going to a club tonight but i am supposed to be going to happy hour so i'm just gonna spray a bunch of it on oh my gosh mm. look this is not a fragrance that was made for just anyone to wear you have to be a deep sensual amber type of fragrance of person to wear this fragrance this is not made for the feather of hearts look this is the fragrance for men and women who knows about fragrances who loves you know smelling strong powerful and sexy at the same time all right clubby fragrance number two baby oh would you prefer amber wood oh mm, this is bold mysterious Blend of dark fruit, warm spices, rich woods. Oh, sexy, 
strong. Come on, hold me, guide me. No, let me stop. <laughs> I am such an idiot. All right, this fragrance was made with some really great quality ingredients. Awesome for cold winters when it's really cold and then you still have to step out and go out and go have a good time. You want to pull this baby and wear this fragrance. I mean, oh my God, it's beautiful, oriental. I mean, it has some warm and it feels kind of velvety on your skin. Oh my God. But at the same time, it's a delicate fragrance. I would, I, I don't think I would wear this to work. Okay, I'm wearing, I'm already wearing Johar and now I put this one on. I'm going to, my perfume is going to slap somebody today. Okay? Yeah, I'm not going to shower to change it to go before I go out tonight. I am still going to keep all of these fragrances on because I just want to smell sexy. I'm going to smell sexy three times. This is a unisex scent. But ladies, gentlemen, both of you can enjoy this fragrance. Don't get me wrong, it's a little pricey. Okay? But it is worth every freaking penny you are going to spend on it. Get yourself a tester, get yourself a decant, wear the hell out of it because you are going to want to get a full bottle. I call this sex in a damn big bottle. This is Biatch number three. Oh, did I say that? No. This is fragrance number three. Look, Tom Ford. I love you, my man. I just love you. But you know what? Lately, you had come out with some shitty fragrances. Finally, now, you guys are stepping up your games, right? And I know you no longer own the company, but they are stepping up their games, and they came out with Tom Ford Noir Extreme Parfum. This is the gold bottle. This is different than the black bottle. I still love the black bottle, but this gold bottle is the shit, okay? You have some cardamom, some ginger. The ginger is awesome in this fragrance. Mandarin orange, neroli, and some citruses notes. And in the middle note, there's coffee, uh, Bulgarian rose, orange blossom, of course, jasmine. And then you have some, on the base of you know, vanilla, there's some suede and some leather. I really don't care for leather, but I can tolerate suede, right? Amber, tonka bean. And see that oh, wow this is so freaking nice and sexy at the same time this is a men's cologne but I have the black bottle and I love the black bottle and I decided to buy the extreme one this is a special occasion fragrance okay do not wear this to work do not wear this you know shopping do not wear this to a coffee date I think it's just too strong you're going to sh your coffee date person will just go crazy because he or she will just jump on you because you will be irresistible, okay? It's kind of like the original one, but this one is more mature. It's a bit more mature, a little bit uh, smokier, right? In a very good way. I mean, this is very manly. This is a men's men fragrance, okay? Uh, this makes tobacco uh, vanille look like crap, okay? And I've smelled tobacco vanille. I really did not care for tobacco vanille because I... I don't like tobacco notes in my fragrances that much. But this is something that a richer, older gentleman uh, who smokes expensive cigars would wear. Even though I cannot stand a man who smokes, right? But I can see, you know, a kind of like Richard Gere type, you know, Sean Connery type, those kind of guys, right? When they were in their maybe late 50s wearing this fragrance with a beautiful, you know, hat on and a nice suit, you know, beautiful moccasin, you know, black shoes and just, you know, going in, in you know, to the town to, uh, out and wearing this fragrance and then women just looking at and smelling them and just want to jump on them. Oh, let me stop dreaming. Okay. This is not a, a, a daytime fragrance. This is a special occasion fragrance to wear. When you wear this baby, did I put some on? I don't know. I cannot remember. Shit, I'm getting old. I cannot remember. I cannot remember crap. Oh my god. No. 
Oh Lord, take me away. No Lord, do not take me away. Come on now, leave me right here because I need to finish wearing these beautiful perfumes. Okay, bitches, I just gave you three beautiful fragrances that you can wear if you want to smell sexy, divine, hot, strong, powerful, and if you want to smell like a boss, get one of those. Get a tester, get a decant, or buy one. You will not regret it. You will love those fragrances. They are sexy, they are rich, and they will last on your skin the entire day. And now, I just smell like shit. Because I'm wearing three very powerful fragrances. And I think if I'm going to happy hour, I might want to take a shower and then only wear one. Because I think three of them is just too much for me to wear. Alright, thank you so much for watching this crazy video. Thank you for spending time with me. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. And wear your freaking fragrances. They are yours. They are made to be worn. And eat the damn dessert. It will not kill you. As long as you eat it in moderation. Alright, see you. Take care now. Bye.